So obviously you have a somewhat competitive GOP primary going on, right? Across those six battleground states among likely voters, Trump leads by three. Ron DeSantis also leads by three, so no better. But look at Nikki Haley. Look at this. She's up by nine percentage points, by nine. So at this particular point, if you're Republican, you're probably saying, you know what, DeSantis doesn't do any better. But Nikki Haley would blow Joe Biden right out of the water in these six battleground states, at least, at least according to this one poll. So the fact is, hey, Nikki Haley has a real argument to make on electability. So there's a debate Wednesday night and when Nikki Haley gets up on that stage and says, I am the most electable against Joe Biden. I do better than Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. The fact of the matter is... The fact that 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 is exactly the fact of the matter. That is exactly what's going on. And if we have this, you know, federal election trial, right? If Trump is convicted and sentenced in the federal election trial across the six battleground states, look what happens. Now Joe Biden. Yes, your head went shaking like okay. that. He goes up by nine percentage points. And we're still a year out from the election, so there's a lot that can change. So I think that Nikki Haley argument, hey, I'm electable, more electable than Donald Trump, this poll makes the suggestion, hey, that could really be the case. So right now, Trump leads Biden by three, right, by plus three. But if he's convicted, Biden's leading by nine? It's exactly right. That's what the poll tested. It's obviously a hypothetical at this particular point. But this hypothetical is something that I think will get a lot of Republicans talking, or it should anyway. That is a huge swing there, Harriet, and thank you very thank much. Thank you, John.